We are back at the pond project. This pond was dug from a field and has now become a backyard pond full of life. The goal now is to grow this pond and the resident fish into a truly premium backyard pond. So winter's pretty much over. It's March, it's warm up here. Uh, we had a good year skating on the pond. Got out quite a bit with the kids. Uh, a very cold winter. So I'll be interested to see how thick this ice is. I'm gonna drill a hole in it and measure to see how thick the ice is. Uh, here I got a couple of Christmas trees that I grabbed um, after Christmas, people were tossing them out. Going to use those in the next video. Uh, I'm gonna add a lot of structure to this pond. I finally have time to do that. Uh, so we're gonna get a lot of structure in here for the bait fish uh, to really start the pond off. And then we can introduce the larger bass coming up in the next video. Uh, so yeah, here's the ice. We skated on this two days ago. And uh, now the sun's hot, sun's warm, it's, uh, it's over. The sun comes out and then things like that happen. Leaves sink, everything's soft on top. Um, but we had a really good year. It was a lot of cold nights, really cold nights. So I'll be interested to see how thick this pond actually is. I'm going to grab the auger and uh, do some drilling and we'll get the measuring tape out and see how thick the ice is. That is so much ice. There's a lot of, a lot of ice. That was almost a full auger. Water looks really clear. Cold. I forgot my ice scoop. So the hand is going to have to work. That is cold. Whew. That is a lot of ice. Yow. It's crazy. The water's a little chunky. I think the runoff has started. Yeah, that's a lot of ice. I'm gonna get the measuring tape out. Get a measurement on the ice thickness. Hooked on right there. 26 inches. Two foot six of ice. So that's pretty thick. You could drive a dump truck on that. So I drilled out four holes. That's a lot of work going on 26, uh, 26 inches. Nice clear water. I can actually see bottom. Last year I sent the camera down around this time. I think I went a little bit too late when the, the runoff came into the pond and the water was a bit murky. Uh, but I'm gonna do the same thing. Hook it up to a fishing rod and send it down. Always uh, cool to see what's down there this time of year. You never know really where you're dropping the camera, but you might get lucky and see some cool fish. So if you've been watching my videos on the pond, you know that I have really high-end camera equipment, right? That's, that's a joke, by the way. Um, here's my underwater camera. I hooked my GoPro to my ice fishing rod. I'm gonna hook it up here, tie it on, and uh, I'll send the GoPro down. I drilled four holes, so I'm gonna send it down all four holes. Let it free hang, they, it spins kind of on its own. Let it hang for maybe five, 10 minutes. Then I'll go back and look and if I have anything uh, interesting on video, I'll chop it up and, and put the interesting parts on. First hole down, 
There's the bottom. We actually hit some sunfish here. An adult and two young that would have been hatched this year. As we get the camera up into the middle of the water column, we come across a small school of sunfish, maybe two dozen. And these fish would have been uh, hatched this year from the spring spawn. And they're all kind of huddled together here in the middle of the water column. One thing I've noticed with this pond is that it does spawn well with the sunfish. We have a lot of sunfish now. Down we go to the second hole, soft bottom hit, and I bring the camera up. There's really nothing here. This is a dead hole. I think I had the camera too high, to be honest. A lot of the activity was down on the bottom. Back down hole number three. This one's on a bit of a shelf. You can see the deeper water in the background and then this flat area up top here. Um, some nice vegetation. This is a young pond, but it's nice to see some weed growth. Not too much, but at least some texture on the bottom there and definitely some plant growth. And if you look closely, you can see a couple of those small hatch ear sunfish come in again at the bottom of the screen. Certainly had a good success rate with the spring sunfish spawn. As we bottom out on the fourth hole, we definitely land in the honey hole. Um, these are all adult sunfish. These are the fish that were spawning in the spring and responsible for all those small sunfish that we saw on the first three holes. Um, they're just stacked up here. Um, always been able to catch sunfish on the camera. They seem to be curious, calm when a camera's floating around. There's a rock bass with the dark eyes and uh, another rock bass there. But there's certainly a lot of sunfish in here, and these adults have done really well and produced well. All of these pumpkin seed sunfish came in in minnow traps in maybe one inch length, inch and a half length. So they've grown really well in here. Whatever they're eating, they're doing well. Um, like I said, I've always been able to get these guys on camera. I cannot get a bass on camera, so that's my goal on the next video is to try and get a bass here on camera. But these sunfish certainly love uh, sitting around and watching the red light flash on the GoPro. And they do look healthy and content as we pull up the camera on the final hole. So with winter on its way out, the, uh, the ice is done for the year. The pond is done for the year. Uh, the nice thing with these northern ponds is you can get out and use them in the winter. Uh, you might not be able to grow as big a bass as you can in those southern ponds, but uh, it's nice to get out and with the kids in the winter and skate. So we had a good year for that. Uh, going forward, actually finally excited to really start this pond. It's been slow. Uh, this pond was dug maybe a year and a half ago. I have videos on that. And it was just a slow process, but we're here full time now. So I can really dig into this pond and, and get it rolling. Uh, looking forward to the spring for the ice to come off in a couple weeks here and see what we have and uh, really get all that structure. I've been collecting a whole bunch of uh, things that I've found, the Christmas trees and other stuff that I'm gonna get in here and really find some protection for the bait fish. Probably restock with a pile of minnows again, one more time with all that structure in there and see how that establishes for a few weeks and then hopefully midsummer go out and get a couple nice sized bass to keep in here forever or as long as I can keep them away from predators. Uh, and, and get that going with the uh, the final two or four bass. I'm not sure what I'm going to do in here, but that'll be interesting. And then as well, we got the landscaping. This entire area is going to get cleaned up and uh, turned into a backyard golf course. Going to try to do a two-hole golf course there, which uh, that's a very daunting uh, task when I hear me say that. Um, but that'll be the plan. Do some landscaping, clean it up, green it up. It's just a pile of dirt, pile of mud here once the snow melts. So. Uh, really focused and sort of energized on that now as we finally got settled in here that I can spend some time on the landscaping in the pond and hopefully by the end the pond is just the center point of this uh, little backyard two-hole golf course uh, with a really nice pond in the center so that'll be the plan there'll be more videos coming now finally as we're back to pretty much uh, full time on this to get it cleaned up and to where I want it to be